Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Guys, in our industry, one of the most interesting question is like how I can be a good paint prep artist. So I'm here to show you how you can make such a cool, interesting paint prep process inside of Nuke X. So without wasting any time, as I always say, let's get started. So now we're in my system and as you guys can see it is a really cute footage from the movie Pikachu and today I'll show you how you can clean this character from the footage and uh, that will be a lot of fun so start okay so you can see this footage it's uh, moving and uh, actually I have done this before so this is my previous node graph so I'm just now recreating this again okay so zoom it so what you have to do you have to make a clean plate properly for this footage otherwise your entire footage will not work so guys please make sure please concentrate on your clean plate okay so in my case i'm taking only one frame to a uh, clean plate for for clean plate so in 81 frame it's a good frame for a clean plate i because i have i told you now i already done this before so i'm taking this one uh, by the way this resolution is a little bit decreased it's one is to two uh, it's one is to one is the highest resolution if you wish you can decrease it more or if your system is good enough then you can choose it for one is to one now uh, just take a frame hold take a frame hold connect it and select this 81 frame so now what you have to do you have to clean this 81 frame because right now it's kind of a jpeg here you can use photoshop but i'm using nuke for this take a p for proto paint node and then start clean plate i mean start cleaning so those who guys didn't know how to clean and all all this thing you can check so many tutorials in youtube but yes i don't have any specific tutorials to use uh, this tool but if you wish comment down below i'll definitely make a tutorial on it that how you can use this uh, roto paint tool and i will tell in adv uh, detail that the advanced techniques and all how to clean this kind of thing by using this so see this is a good process to clean you can use photoshop as well uh, guys it will take so much time this is the final output which is completely look like this so this is a clean plate one and guys uh, yes the footage link is in description if you want you can go and download it from there and start working and even I was uplo I'm uploading this clean plate as well so you can do your work okay so just roto paint node is done now just leave this aside no need right now this is now we have to camera track so press tab and take a camera tracker 3d and then double click on this and what you have to do you have to change your range from input to global because my frame range is 23 to 93 it's a 70 frames now go to the settings bar and number of features i am increasing it's like uh, 300 it's good okay so now go to camera track and just press track so guys the tracking data will come little uh, it will take some time so when it will complete I'll get back to you so uh, the track is done now what I have to do I have to select this uh, solve button to solve this just click the solve so you can see the solve is done right now and the error report is 0 0.83 which is a really good thing so just go to this auto track and go down so now what I have to do we have to delete this rejected one so delete this rejected and uh, delete this unsolved as well so now what we have we have complete cleaned tracking data and all so what you have to do just press tab you can see this is our 3d environment so now tab again uh, just we have to make this ground plane so I'm taking this kind of markers I mean the trackers to check as my ground plane uh, okay this one this one this one as this one okay now right click ground plane set to selected uh, guys I already have this kind of uh, tutorial before so if you want how to 3d track exactly you can go and check my videos link is in description uh, just press tab right now now see the points are right now stick to their ground see 
so these are the meaning is these are points are right now in this grid it's in ground so it's a really good thing okay so let's start I press tab here and now what I have to do double click on this camera and go to this camera tracker go down and from here camera to take a scene and unlink this link output option and just press create so now you have got your three things when is the camera tracker point cloud data scene and camera so just uh, rearrange this all connect this to the scene and then you have to take a scan line renderer otherwise you can't render it in 2d now connect it to here and connect this object scenes to scenes camera to camera and should bg to this so i'm just connected to here and by pressing uh, i'm taking a division here just a minute take a dot and then connect this bg to this one and this one should go here actually i'm just rearranging this everything otherwise after a few times you will get frustrated after watching your notes okay so now come to this roto paint one connect this to here now what i have to do i have to make a roto mask because we can't use entire footage so just disable this one you can see this one and what i have to do we have to take one more frame hold but uh, before doing this just take copy copy paste frame hold it should go down it should go this one here okay the why i'm doing this the reason behind is see the roto paint node when you select this clone one you can check when you go to this lifetime panel this is only single frame now you can do it from the all frame so that's why no need this frame hold but the thing is if you wish you can change anything in next frame but if you click to this all frames you can't change anything on next frame you have to take one more uh, roto paint node and you have to do that again so that's why i'm taking a frame hold so what happened right now right now this frame hold can hold this frame for entirely okay so now nah, thing is you have to take a roto node just press o on your keyboard now wrote on the scheme now just disable this for a few times okay so now what i have to make a mask over there it's a rough mask no need to make a proper so just take a mask and slightly like this now i know this character is going little bit this direction this one is going this one this direction that direction so what i'll do i'll just increase it little bit because otherwise it can be go out so right now it's fine now select all this press z on your keyboard to smooth this now this much smoothness is enough for this and what you have to do you have to take all this press control and a little bit drag to the feather mask now press a on your keyboard you can see your alpha and you can adjust it from here i'm just decrease increasing this feather fall off yes now it's good okay so when you disable this one uh enable so this roto mask need to cut it out so press tab and take a pre multiply pre -mult. so now this much area is cut it out so the basic idea is this much area will be project on our footage by using some 3d card data and all so connect it to the scanline renderer okay and then disable this camera tracker point cloud data okay so just play it again so this is a very fine footage so whatever we are doing you have to do this only on this 81 frame this is a good thing otherwise the entire output may be lost it okay so connect this to the camera tracker double click on this and you will get your all camera point clouds and all so from here i'll take uh, like one two three and low like one two three and four okay this one is good see the tracking length is 55 this one 68 this one 48 and this one is 71 this one is really nice so i'm taking this one as well uh, so just right click take create and a card so right now you can see we already got a 3d card over there so what you have to do we have to connect this 3d card to our scene so right now it's connected and just make it little precise okay so what you have to do when you see this card is ticked on his ground so it means that ground is in this way okay now the basic idea is we had just 
rotation maybe in minus 90 uh, it's like uh, 0 and it's 0 okay it's fine right now so what you have to do you have to make this card a little bigger because see this camera focal length and all is very far because it's a wide angle wide angle video right so what you have to do you have to project this uh, project that clean plate on that card okay so just increase this card size a little bit so i'm just increasing manually uh, just like this it's good this much is very fine uh, okay this is good enough okay so now what i have to do you have to make at least the alignment and all so just press in checkerboard and connect this to this card as a texture and when you go back by pressing tab on your keyboard you can see this card is right now on this ground but you can't see the exact output right so i'm just decreasing the resolution to get the proper output and right now what i'll do i'll just select this one and uh, just double click on this card and from here i'm take a like uh, what i will i'll take a merge node and then i'll just decrease this the opacity so now you can see this card is right now on this ground is really well okay so now decrease this scale a little bit and slightly up okay this is fine so when you play this footage you can check that your this thing is working properly or not it means like your track is working properly on it's kind of a match move so you have to make this really well now see the card is little tilt in this uh, direction so you have to rotate and adjust this otherwise your entire footage will be lost it so see this track is really well as you can, can see uh, it's uh, showing that the ground and the card is stick to, to on its place so guys make sure your track is should be good otherwise your entire footage will not come properly whatever you are doing by using the tracking data and all it will not come because the entire thing is based on two basic purpose one is the, your clean plate and second one is your proper tracking data so see the track is really done the job properly and it sticked on its ground so now what i have to do we have to make little rotation to adjust this so double click on this card and I'm just going this rotation panel and just rotating slightly on directions. I don't know which direction is good, but maybe it's this direction or this one. Yeah, so this direction is good. Okay, so now it's completely fine. Yeah, and go to this one. Fine. Okay, so now see this area is the last line okay so this is a ground line i'm just disable this checkerboard so this is a ground and from there this should go up so whatever we're doing we have to make this card on this ground so how can i do this the reason very easy double click and just move it on this x direction so that it can show it like this just see it's fine right now it's good little more yeah right now it's fine okay so we have to project this uh, texture on this card so just delete this two from here right now we have our card here so for project we have to take a project 3d node as you all know so take a tab project 3d this is a project 3d node the what project 3d is doing project 3d is uh, projecting some kind of things on your 3d environment object so I'm taking this camera control C and paste it over there and just what I'll do I'll uh, connect this camera to this uh, project 3d camera to this one but make sure guys you have to hold this camera because the camera is moving right now because it's already 3d track camera so go to this 81 number frame and then what I'll do I'll take the same frame hold control C control V and connect it to this here so right now the camera is hold it okay so right now what I'll do I'll just connect this to here and this one will go here so what happened you can see when press tab you can see the entire footage is right now projecting on this card see and right now you can see this uh, ground is cleaned 
so just play this first so now you can see this uh, feel like this is the character is not there but we have to remove this uh, character phase as well now see this is a major point when you see the first one is the deep to black effect was there but our clean plate was not like that deep to black so we have to make an animation that this uh, image will little bit going darker and it will make the same thing over there okay so now what we have to do we have to in, uh, decrease uh, sorry we have to make a one more projection for this area so just check once see this is really good output see this area you can't see okay so now go to this again 81 number frame zoom it now we have to make this one properly how you can do this it's a very easy way now see this is a really far from this ground right so press tab on your keyboard and tap it again now take one more card C A R D card take this and now connect it to the scene and the image should go here the project 3d now you can see you can't see anything right so double click on this card by pressing tab you can see this card is right now in this direction so what you have to do rotate it on like 90 and drag it to the z axis and you can call it as c axis as well so just move it little up and it's fine now you have to see this focal length is really wide so what you have to do you have to make this little bigger slightly like this. now see this area right now faded out so this is the main thing we have to do now please merge this all on the same line and increase it on this direction as well now it's fine okay now press tab on your keyboard you can see nothing is visible here so when you play it you can see the entire track is done your cleanup is done i'll just play it but before doing this i'm just rearranging everything because i'm told you otherwise you can frustrate it after a few times so just rearrange it like this so now it's fine so i'm just playing it so now you can see the entire projection process is right now done and the cleanup as well the next thing is what we have to do we have to make this thing properly the dip to black effect so how you can do that i will show you so first of all go to this uh, like 50 number frames the basic idea is we have to make an animation so we have to take a great note and connect this to here because this is a texture I and I want this texture to be a little darker so just make to this like 50 number frame and over there just right click and so the multiply option just right click and press set key and what do you have to do nothing you just uh, see this is a multiply option is one is fine now go to this 23 number frame and just decrease this multiplication to match this black environment okay so guys this is taking little time i know because you have to make this proper otherwise you can't see your footage i think this amount is really good yeah this is fine so now what we'll do just little 40 yeah this is fine right now okay cool and when you play this see this is going a little, little brighter so the brighter part is little different so now this is a complete brightened area so what i have to do you have to make a proper animation for this now go to this one option and see it should be called darker so just make this one area is like darker and all just decrease this grain value and you can see uh, it's matched yeah it's matched so in this way you have to match this uh, actually i have done this so i'm just copying this that great node from here and just paste it over there and just replaced it yeah like this so in this thing i already done this so when you play i'm just decreasing it more resolution to better understand just go to the first frame and just play it for the very first time and you can see the entire thing is right now stick uh, guys don't bother this area because right now this is a low resolution so it's feel like it's not stick on his own place but trust me it's actually sticked on his place because see this is a grain is moving a little bit but in this footage there's nothing is moving so that's why it's feel like this is not stick on his entire place but it's actually sticked so just stop it and see it's when you come to this final resolution 
see nothing is happening so always check it on your final resolution don't check it on your low resolution it feel like your entire thing is not done properly okay so end of the day i have to make a proper color correction and when you go to the first frame you can see some area is going out see so what i have to do i have to take a crop 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 and connect it and just cut this area yeah now it's fine and then select a one more like grade one and a color corrector color 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 corrector yeah and the grade from grade node just come here and just increase this from grade just i'm increasing this black point to 0 0.5 uh, no, not 0 0.5 just little down a little bit Okay, it's fine and uh, from the color corrector node. I am increasing the master saturation See it's very right now looking very good the shadow should little go down and the midtone little go up and the contrast one as well So guys, this is it and when it will complete I'll, it will look like this so guys hope you really enjoyed this cool sweet and simple tutorial that how you can clean something from your footage by using so many projection process and clean plate and all and if you really love our footages videos and tutorials then do comment like share and don't forget to subscribe our channel vfx world and please press that bell icon because whenever we'll upload our new tutorials and videos you will get your notification like in one click so i will see you in my next tutorial till then have fun stay healthy bye bye